Good morning. Waiting on the girls to get up. I just woke them up and making some coffee this morning. Um, this is the uh, Dunkin' Cold Brew that you like. You put the little uh, packs inside of here and let it like steep for like 12 to 24 hours or something like that. Um, so I actually, got, I actually been enjoying that. So I actually got some more of that on my grocery order today. But um, I'm going to try out this again. I still can't find a creamer that I just really, really like. So I picked a, this up yesterday. I had to run in uh, the store to grab a few things. So we're going to try that. The girls just got up, picked the cereal that they wanted this morning easy easy breakfast because we're running just a little bit behind i feel like all right Lainey's already got dressed so we just gotta get rid dressed gotta fix hair i am getting their lunches fixed um actually this one's rins i'll just put them in the wrong i've got to switch their names got some yogurt strawberries and you can't really see it i got them a couple of little mini oreos and a sandwich pretty much the same thing for delaney um also got pretzels in there for her but she didn't want the yogurt so that is their lunches so these lunch boxes i was like oh i'm gonna have to write their names because i put them in the wrong put what they want in the wrong ones but just switch the lids perfect ready for school yeah Alrighty. Oh, got it. Alright, everything's in there. Let me make sure your cup's on the other side. Yes. Alright, Rian. This is what I got from They had dentist appointments yesterday, didn't they? Didn't y'all? Delaney and Rian did. Okay. So here's your lunch box. Where's my backpack? I've got to run grab it. It's on the little backpack Whoa, holder. And I'll put this in there. Mom, this it's is too heavy. Yes. Well, you have to carry it in school, sister. Alright, who's ready for school today? We've got all Where's four kiddos. Huh? Where's my dog at got? the dentist? Yeah. Did. Millie, what are you doing? Do you have a little activity for the way to school? Millie and Kellen are still in their pajamas. That's usually our school mornings. So, what a morning. I'm here getting my groceries this morning. And um, I dropped the girls off at school. And I got a call as soon as I walked back into my house, which I think I mentioned it before. I drive a long distance to their school. Um, so, I mean, what are you doing? So, I got a text as soon as I walked into my house today from dropping them off that their power is out and we need to pick them up as soon as possible. So, the girls are being picked up. The girls are being picked up from school and... I had a grocery order that I had to come get, so they're being picked up, and so they all, they would just be home today. It's about 9:30, so um, they're bringing them. It will be a day at home instead of a day at school today. So we're grabbing some groceries. I'm gonna share y'all with y'all my meal plan. I think I'm gonna throw a crock pot recipe in the crock pot when I get home. That sounds so good. We've had it one other time, and it was. I loved it. Um, so I think I'm going to share that with y'all, which I've shared it before, but wow. share that what I'm making for dinner tonight. Um, I did meal plan, I think four meals this week, which I have, I think they're bringing my groceries now. I have been struggling with meal planning y'all struggling so much. And so I meal planned, I think four different things and I plan on cooking at home. And I've got something, like a one or two more things at home that I can cook as well. But I am trying to get better about cooking at home. So, I'm going to throw something in the crock pot. Even though we have a busy evening. We've got dance tonight. Dance, ballet, gymnastics. Um, but I'm still going to go ahead. You want to go to gymnastics? You go on Fridays. You get to go Friday. Um, even though we've got a busy evening, I'm going to throw it in the crock pot. So, that way I don't have much to do after that. So...
quickly. Um, I am, I got this cold brew. I got this uh, like last week and I made it. I steep it for like 24 hours in the refrigerator or close to that. This is eight to 12, but I do more than that. And I really like this. So my taste buds just honestly are always changing with how I like my iced coffee. I just always change it up and that's just, I get tired of one way and I try another way. So that's how I've liked it lately. I got a couple of Capri Suns for the girls for lunches at school. And then I got corn dogs just for easy, easy sometimes. So one of the meals I'm gonna do is some tort al tortellini alfredo and I'm gonna get Ethan to do some chicken on the black stone probably or I might like air fry some chicken or put it I've got him right here with me for just a second so I could get this done huh yeah <laughs> but we're gonna do some chicken cheese alfredo tortellini so we've got some cheese tortellini and then this is just a super easy meal actually that's pretty much what I have this week uh, we're gonna try this Rayo's homemade Alfredo. So I've heard it's really good. Um, the Rayo's brand is, you know, pretty pricey. But if it keeps us to, to eat at home, you know, I'm, I don't mind paying a little bit more because I've heard this is really good. I know I've tried their spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce, whatever you call their sauce, um, and we really liked it. And so that's gonna be a meal. These extra toasty Cheez-Its are my favorite. So grab those French toast sticks. Got some ground beef for Sloppy Joe's this week. We're gonna do Sloppy Joe's one day because that sounded really easy and Ethan loves that. Some beef broth for a recipe. So with the tortellini, um, I don't think I'm gonna eat that. I don't know how many points it is, but I think I'm gonna do some zucchini spirals and put some of the Alfredo sauce in the chicken in that. Um, and try it that way versus this. Um, of course, every week I've got to have that. I've got some of these as well. Delaney likes to bring those for a snack at school. Of course, these as well. Got some chicken fries. That's an easy lunch, dinner, whatever we want to do with them. Peanut butter for PB&Js for school this week. That's mainly what I'm going to do for the girls. Hey, buddy. Hi. <laughs> All right, quickly, so got some fries for the Sloppy Joes. We got this chicken. I got that to do for our uh, tortellini. And then one of the things I'm making is, yeah, I see that. One of the things I'm making is French chip sandwiches, but I'm, I think I'm going to put this uh, for tonight. Look how much a roast is. Is that not insane? Which, like I said, if it keeps us eating at home and not out, it's cheaper than going out to eat. So, all right, buddy, you win. You win, you gonna do it with me? You win. We got some granola bars, we got some waffles, some of this. Uh, these smoothies are, I haven't seen this kind, but we were going, I was looking through the Walmart app yesterday doing my grocery order and the girls were like, oh, those look really good. So birthday cake and strawberry. Uh, we got some string cheese, I like the light. I got the regular for the girls. I got these for our French chip sandwiches. I got an onion for that. Half and half, I like to have that for coffee. Delaney wanted Jello on the grocery order, so got some Jello. Some more grapes. Got some shredded lettuce. I don't know what's on it. Um, strawberries, raspberries, turkey pepperoni. I needed some batteries, some bread, some buns for the sloppy joes, and then I got these hoagie rolls. I got those for the friendship sandwiches, and bananas. I don't think I said pineapple. And that's my grocery haul. So I'm gonna put all the cold stuff up and then I will be back shortly to um, share the recipe I'm gonna do. Okay, time to start um, French dip sandwiches. One of y'all shared this recipe with me a while back. We made it one time and I really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm gonna get started on these. They are so good, I highly recommend them. Um, I think it's for the meat like a point per ounce and I use probably like a few ounces of meat and then of course whatever you use as far as your bread I think the hoagies that I have they are six points um, which I don't think is bad for this bread so I got the pepperidge farm ones and then I add like a slice of the thin provolone I think I have thin provolone whatever I got today I believe it's one point each I'm gonna go back and check that to be sure and then whatever you you um You'll like dip it in the like sauce that it cooks in basically, which is you don't count for that. So yeah, it can be like a 
less than 10 point sandwich, which to me, I feel like that's pretty good for something like this. Um, but I've got my frying pan heated up. I've got my chuck roast. This is a beef, beef chuck roast. I've already got one side salt and peppered. So I'm gonna sear this for a couple minutes on each side. Of course, it might be ready to so it. Let's see. I don't think this part's like absolutely necessary, but I'm gonna do it because it says that. Um, and then I've got my crock pot. I'm gonna put a liner in here. That one, I got to put a crock pot liner in there. And this will have to be cooked on high today. I like to cook my crock pot on low, but it's already lunchtime, so it's gonna have to be on high. Okay, I have not put any of my like, snack stuff and a lot of other things up, but the roast is done. I'm gonna stick that in there. All right, so now I'm gonna whisk stuff together before I pour it again. So I'm gonna do a cup of beef broth. So it's like a little over half a can of it. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of balsamic. I don't think this is the right kind of balsamic that it calls for, but it turned out good last time. So I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of that and I'm not really worried about measuring. A teaspoon of Dijon mustard. It's probably pretty good. And then a bouillon cube, which I have like a, I'm making our dinner for tonight. I don't know. I'm just gonna pour some in here. That is gonna be a roast. All right, and then I'm gonna just whisk all of that together. Also, I forgot a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. So I'll add that. Got the recipe pulled up here to make sure I do it right. I'm gonna pour it all over the top of it. I'm also gonna add some garlic. I just have this easy garlic. It says three cloves, so I'm just gonna put, I usually do extra because I like garlic. And then I have an onion that I'm gonna quarter and put that in there, so cut into like four. What you doing over there, sister? Okay, so I've got it cut into fours. I'm just gonna throw that in there and it like breaks itself up once it's done, so. All right, and then lastly, I've got some bay leaves. I'm gonna add couple of those and that's it i'm gonna let it cook all day now i have a mess to clean up okay not cook all day but cook most of the day so i'm gonna let that cook until later tonight and then we can put it all together man i'm just looking real good today uh anyway supper's in the crock pot millie and Callan are down for a nap and Callan's actually sleeping really good today i'm hoping he'll take a really good nap so while they are sleeping i have been wanting to clean up my kitchen really good mainly i want to wipe down my cabinets i'm gonna also wipe down my stainless steel and clean it good i think i'm gonna do that right now include that in, that in this video um I'm going to, first of all, like tidy up my kitchen. And then once all that's tidied up, as long as Callan continues to sleep for me, um, I'm gonna use some Tide. Um, I follow Go Clean Co and she uses Tide on everything basically. Um, I think we're gonna wipe down my cabinets with hot water and Tide and use a cloth to do it because I'm gonna see if I can show y'all some places as I'm doing it. They are really dirty in some places. And so also my, um, wiped subway tile backsplash i'm gonna try to wipe that down some uh and just kind of get the kitchen to looking better so let's get started doing that
this little guy woke up. He had a pretty good nap though. I didn't get to everything. I did get to my cabinets at least. And you want a color? Sure. And then I did do my stainless steel. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, I'm looking at some spots that I missed on my stainless steel. So I got to that. I didn't get to my backsplash that I was gonna wipe down. And I was gonna do this mirror in front of, not mirror this big window in front of me and also get um the window cleaner you need to go pee okay get the window cleaner and clean like this and then my class on my oven oh but it does look better um didn't get to everything like i said but i do need to do a few more things but for now uh this is much better and then my crock pot this should be getting close to being done it's been going for almost four hours but we're gonna let it cook for a little while. All right, let's check on this roast. It has been uh, four hours, so, oh yeah, not even close. It is very tough still. So hopefully in a couple hours, it'll be good. All right, so I shredded it up, got all the fatty parts <laughs> off of it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start fixing everybody's plates now i think i might make some fries with it because i think ethan would like that i don't think i'll eat the fries i think i'll eat something different <laughs> y'all this video my kids are being loud in it um i think we're going to do that before the kids go to dance because they're telling me they're hungry but anyways it is ready it's delicious i've already tried it and if you haven't tried this you totally should all right i toasted the buns and then put some of this Ultra thin provolone, these are one point. And then um, the meat, and then I got the, just dip some juice out, which these liners are kind of falling out, but got that to dip it in. And then I didn't do fries, but I am obsessed with these things. These are so good. So this is my dinner tonight. Such a good recipe. Y'all should try it if you haven't already. If you didn't make it last time I shared this, it is a really, really good recipe. And then the girls are in dance stuff and all that, but this is what their plates look like. Is the rice good? Mm -hmm. All right, we cut up our pineapple. Millie wanted me to cut it. How is it? Is it good? Is it good? I'm getting ready. I'm cleaning up the kitchen. To let, or Ethan took the girls to dance today. I got, just got Callan to bed. Cut up the pineapple. I think I'm getting ready to fix their lunches for tomorrow. Go ahead and do that. Um, I'm finished cleaning up. I got the dishes done. Got to start a load in the dishwasher. Clean up a few things in here. And once the girls get home, they're going to help clean up in the living room. <laughs> We've already got their baths. We've done that before dance because after dance, it's already later than I'd like. And so we uh, decided to do that before, before they went to ballet and dance. So that way... Once they got home, they can kind of eat a snack, brush teeth, and all that good stuff. You can't hear it? You can't hear it? I turned it down so I could vlog. I don't think I shared. I did right on my board very quickly. For the first time in uh, so long, I feel like, I was like, you know what? I'm going to put my little menu on the board. <laughs> and so I finally did that. Um, anyways, I'm going to finish cleaning up this kitchen. And the girls will be home soon. Also, I don't think I'm, look, already getting dirty, even though I just washed it. Um, I don't think I shared this, but I did go ahead and make my coffee. It'll be ready in the morning. You don't want your pineapple? Okay, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Um, it'll be ready in the morning. I've also got to cut up some fruit and stuff. I just hadn't had a chance to do that. I put this on at like, I don't know, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. I don't know. Sometime, sometime today. So it'll be good and ready in the morning for when I, I head to school. You I see some milk? Yeah. You got a milk right there? Yeah. Got my milk. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, just got their lunches. PB and J's got a smoothie, and I went ahead and put a straw in here for their smoothie. Pineapple, strawberries, and some Cheez Its is what they're both having for school tomorrow. So, went ahead and got those made. I'm gonna go ahead and stick those in the refrigerator, and we will be good to go. How was dance? Good, good. Good. What did you do? Did you do gymnastics and dance? Yeah. And ballet. ballet. I washed my hair tonight, which I actually. My face is got, very red right now, but I just got done drying my hair and stuff. Do you like I, my hair? Yeah, I fixed it. You fixed it? I actually have a hair appointment tomorrow, but my hair was pretty dirty, and I was like, oh, I'm not going to go to my hair appointment with dirty hair full of dry I shampoo. I smell my hair, guys. Does it smell good? 
just smell mama's hair, you guys. <laughs> Can you smell it? Yeah. Uh, Alright, so we're going to actually go ahead and end this video how, out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Say subscribe. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye. Bye.